Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. A quick video on Playwright with TypeScript. And uh, so today I'm going to talk about that how to do a mouse over on a specific element, especially like how to handle menu and submenu related use cases. For example, if you go to spicejet.com here, and if I mouse over on, uh, let's see, add-ons, and then the sub menus will be displayed over here. So for example, let's see if I click on add-ons, I want to click on visa services or taxi or anything, I can click on it. But for that, I have to make these sub menus visible on the page. It means it should be visible on the page. Then only I can interact. Then only I can click on it. How will you do that? First, you have to mouse over on this particular parent menu, and then you have to click on it. Just like we do in Selenium or other automation tools, like in Selenium, we have actions class. Same thing here. It's very straightforward in Playwright. You don't need to use any specific actions class for that. Just need to use one method, hover, and then that's it. How to use it? Let's see. So uh, here you can see that I'm already launching this application, spicejet.com. I'm using uh, Google Chrome here. And then uh, page.go to spicejet.com. Here I'm writing it here. And then uh, I'll do one thing. I simply write page dot, and then uh, I can quickly check and I can inspect this, the parent menu, which is add-ons. And uh, let's inspect that first. And uh, here you can see it's uh, written with a div and the text is add-ons. So I can go with the text also, I can go with that. So let's see, I'm creating one locator and it's whenever you see the text of any element, you can use this particular method, get by text method. See, get by text method, you can supply the text directly over here. So let's see, I'm just simple supplying the text is that is add-ons, right? Might be possible that there are multiple add-ons are available on this particular page. So I'll say that, okay, whatever the first add-on that you find, just click on that. So I simple write, let's see, the first one, not exactly click, but you have to use this hover method on the matching element. Simply use this particular method and that's it. After that, it will exactly go there and then the sub menus will be displayed there. Let's see till here it is really working or not. So I'm just going to run it and uh, let's see what happens. So here you can see the browser is getting launched here and uh, it will just display the sub menu. Can you see mouse over on the add-ons and then sub menus are displayed over here. Now, after that, let's say I want to click on taxi or spice lock or whatever I want to click, I can click on that, right? So I simply do one thing, exactly same thing page dot by text and uh, <clears throat> get by text, I'm going to use it. And then I want to click on taxi and whatever the first element which is available. And then you can just simply do a dot click on this. That's it. And then the scenario is done. Let's see, is it really clicking on taxi or not? Let's run it again. <clears throat> so again, the application is launched. It will do a mouse over on add-ons and you can see the taxi's page is getting displayed on a new page or whatever. It's actually clicking on taxi here, right? Let's try with something else. Let's see visa services. Let's see, is it really working or not? So instead of uh, uh, taxi, I'll write visa services. I hope services is uh, capital. Yeah, S capital. So put a space and then services and uh, let's run it again. Very simple, very straightforward scenario. <clears throat> so again, you can just simple go to mouse over and click on visa services and you can see that visa services page is getting displayed on the page. That's it. So with this thing, you can handle menu and sub menu. So tomorrow, if you have, let's see, some other three types of menus are available or different types of other menus are available, you can easily handle that. So for example, let's see, I'm giving you one simple assignment, go to bigbasket.com. And then first, what you have to do, you have to click on shop by category, mouse over on, let's see, beverages, and then click on tea. And then one more mouse over on tea after that, click on tea bags or green tea or whatever. You can do that. So how many times you have to hover the mouse? First on the beverages, the first category, then second category. And then after that, you have to click on the third category. So two times you have to do mouse over. And after mouse over on the third one, then you just need to click on it. That's it. After T, you just need to click on tea bags or green tea, whatever, click on it. So here you have to do first click on shop by category, mouse over on this, and then one more mouse over, and then simple green tea, click on it, and then the green tea results will be displayed over here. That's it. Same thing exactly we did it over here as well in the spicejet.com. 
first mouse over and then click on taxi or click on visa services. So remember this very straightforward function, simple, create the locator. You can create the locator with the XPath also or CSS also, or with the text also, and then do a hover and that's it. So that's all for this video, simple and very straightforward. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you.